Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sim 17 Platinum. And we are here on our South American farm. And guess what that is? Well, that's sugar cane. Yes, indeed, first day of summer and our cane has sprouted. I have uh, one of the locals has uh, decided to come and help me out on the farm here. Well, for a fee, of course, but a very reasonable one. And I've got them uh, weeding the field. So, doing a good job. Doing a really good job. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> in this case, it actually is, we are going to, uh, whoa, <laughs> that's a good way to break your ankle, I tell you. I have finished our new meadow, well, I've finished plowing it, so today we're going to throw some grass seed down. And maybe give her a quick spray to get the soil nutrient up. And uh, then we should be good. So, let's just grab ourselves a tractor. Okay. That needs to be a lot less loud. And cedars, I believe, are around the side. So which of these will provide me a grass? Uh, I'm going to assume it's probably this big guy. What you got for me, man? Oil seed grass. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Well, he doesn't have much. Um, yikes. We're going to need a little seed here. Pretty sure. No, if I remember rightly, I know one of them's right up against the wall. That's the first eh? So seeds. So yeah, I think I can just pull up right close against here. Excuse me, that's what I did the last time because it was almost impossible to actually get to them. There we go. And some grass seed. Brilliant. Let's close the lids. I appreciate that they auto open when you're at the right spot, but <laughs> yeah, only to a degree. All right, here we go. So now I believe this will plant directly onto uh, that type of a field. Let's just have a quick look, see, shall we? Da -da. Here we are. This is it. Yeah. I thought it was a direct cedar. Excellent. Oh, I like the wiggle and the bounce, too. I added the uh, ground response module back on. It was suggested it would help the... Uh, the two deedness of the uh, the ground. <laughs> yes, yes, we are making up our own language. And it does, although I don't know how accurate it is. You know, for instance, I think I'm actually in the groove there, but you can see it still just sort of bounces up and down randomly. But it is a little nicer than the thing looking like it's driving on a sheet of glass, I gotta admit. Most definitely. Let's get a bit of a headland in here. Just because. <laughs> See, I would expect driving in this direction. It'd be like driving over stutter bumps, man. We gotta try this inside. Oh yeah, hello. 
Wow. Help, help. <laughs> This should help the cause getting a bit of grass put in here. Make sure we stay close. Whoops. Yeah. Perfectly rectangular field. <laughs> oh man. And yeah, I'm gonna uh, cover up my little mistake. You gotta be really careful when you've got uh, allow create fields, let me tell you. you know, somebody like me behind the wheel is just a disaster waiting for an excuse to leap into you. Indeed. Alright, there's our quote unquote headland. So. Very, very nice. of the uh, sugarcane sprouts. There's not much else has changed here for first day of summer. It is oh, almost too warm for my tastes already. <laughs> yeah, I kid you not. I am not a fan of uh, much in the way of heat. The uh, air temps aren't bad right now. 24 is not bad. I prefer somewhere around 20 to 22 but 24 is not bad not bad just get this weird bit at the end I mean, who would do that you know instead of just making a nice straight field i tell you Well, looks like I actually missed quite a bit, didn't I? Let's see here. Oh, wow, and a big section down the middle. Hmm. Alright, well, I think what I'm just going to do then. Look at that. This thing is not... Uh, not as wide as I thought, I guess. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, that or it's one of those ones that tends to lay a little bit more on one side than the other. Alright, that edge is done. I can finish the piece in the middle that I missed. There we go. A little bit of a waste of seed, of course, but what can you do? And as soon as this pops, we'll do the same thing. We'll run the weeder over it. Just to get a decent level of fertilization. Actually, I think what I'm going to do here is run a second headland so I can actually turn around instead of having to avoid the bunker. Well, a second one, at least one proper one across here. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I only got half of that too. <laughs> Not exactly doing a rousing job here this morning. I don't know what's up. Just don't know. keep leaving. Ugh.
All I'm going to do here is I'm going to run a strip down the middle just so I can see if this is offside or if it's just me today. Because I seem to be missing on every single row. There we go. Alright, so... Let's just run one fat strip down the middle and see how it does compared to the actual cedar. I'm determined to blame the cedar. Okay. So yeah, it's... It is off, actually, by quite a bit, as you can see. On this side, we're pretty much to the edge of the ladder. And on this side, we're actually, as you can see, it actually stops before you even get to the uh, the last set of little rollers there in the back, the last set of wheels. So that's a good meter, anyway, that this is out by. So, kind of strange for stock equipment, you know. You'd really think they'd have it down to the point where it would do the thing evenly from one side of the tool to the other. But no, that's definitely what it's doing. You can see that, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, good, it wasn't just me. It was me and my tractor. And then yeah, we drove up to my left, so that would have been the shy side that left these gaps. Boom. Hmm. Well, well, well. Good to know. So I do have to do a bit of overhang. Otherwise it's going to take me longer to seed this with this 3 or 4 meter wide seeder than it did to uh, plow it with a 2 meter wide plow. And that would not make sense. How's our worker doing? He must be just about done. He hasn't decided to drive across the road and do their fields too, has he? Anything weird like that? I'll have to check. <laughs> I'm just not, uh, not all that sure in their competency here after uh, watching them volunteering to do my neighbor's field yesterday after he'd finished doing more than I'd asked him on our property. So, I mean, hey, I get nothing against a little ambition, but, you know. When it's coming out of my pocket, you better make sure it's the ambition I asked for. stop that. Hmm. Not impressed. Oh well. We'll get this done. Well, I don't see a worker. You better not be driving around across the road there or something, fella, or Lord knows where. I don't think that field is uh, close enough for him to mistake being the field next door, so I'm just gonna have to hope he's still in the tractor. Oh, come on. Really? It's going to be off by that much on this end? Ooh, amazing. It actually covered it. The turning radius in this Ford is freaking terrible, too. It doesn't help. Alright, there we go. We really need to overlap on this side. I believe I gotta go back and do that section again. It's a huge strip.
Oh, what? Why is there a strip now not done there? Yeah. Unbelievable. Not impressed with this cedar. Pretty much, oh, come on, turn. Pretty much every single row I've done needs to be gone back over. It's not impressive. Maybe it's just a little harder when you cut your own field. Still got all the rocks and stuff in there. <laughs> Any excuse. Okay. That last bit. Oh, here too, eh? Unbelievable. It's like nowhere actually got a full cut. Jesus, this thing is hard to steer the slightest touch on the control. I mean, mind you, I'm using a keyboard, so it's not exactly the best method. But like one degree of turn and the thing's just sideways. It's more than I can take, man. Alright. I'm gonna try backing it up again. I'm gonna end up throwing the thing out the window if I do. <laughs> Look, you're right in the middle. Cover it this time. Here, let's try again, shall we? There you go. Good lord. See, it won't turn back. I don't know. There's something weird going on. And of course it won't turn sharply enough to line up. Alright, now that should be turning. See what I mean? There's no way it should take the entire length of the field for that to start to turn. That's crazy. Just crazy, man. Stop. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you can't back this thing up. So either line it up and hope wherever you are is good enough, or you're kind of hooped. Oh well. I was complaining about it, ain't gonna help. I think I'm gonna uh, off this cedar at the nearest opportunity and go with something uh, out of one of the other packs. I don't like it at all. There's far too many spots to. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about those little sections. Just not. Well, I'm sure that other guy must be done by now. I must have missed the uh, announcement. 
Hmm. I'll quit leaving half a row. I swear this is taking longer than the plowing did. But at least that plow runs true. You look at the edge of the plow, that's where it plows. But just to get some grass growing, it's not. At least with me doing it, it is. <laughs> Tufts of grass, I take it that's where I missed the actual original plowing. Although, to be fair, this thing does say it's supposed to be able to see whether you've plowed, tilled, or not. At. Hmm. And I'm not going to rely on getting this entire strip. <laughs> But even there, hmm. it has to leave little sections the whole way up that aren't done. I just don't get it. I mean, that was a tiny little piece of one over. Hmm. Oh well. It's only grass. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not like it's going to be canola that we're selling to maintain the livelihood of the farm. At this point, it's just going to be feeding animals we don't even actually have, so... <laughs> I suppose that's one consolation. Yeah, I'm just going to drive on the edge of what the hell with it. It's a three meter job. Because I'm really getting tired of these black dots all over the field. This should have put one layer of fertilizer down, so we should actually be good until the weeding come to think of it. I don't think we'll have to do a spray at all. Oops, I don't know if I dropped that in time. Well, we shall find out, or read Ricky Ticky. And good. Off to the end you go.
<laughs> it's bouncy. Very bouncy. Should be it. And good. That should do her. All right. More or less, we have a new meta. So let's have a look here. Yes, indeed, with the first layer of fertilizer on it. And fourteen is done. We now have two layers of fertilizer there. I should be able to put another layer on field one now as well. Because he's between cycles. Okay. Oops. Turn this off as well. There we are. One grassiest meadow. Lovely. And from what I understand, now I could be wrong, but it's kind of pointless. Uh, trying to fertilize something that wasn't designed as a meadow. Like that field beside the barn. I don't think I can actually fertilize. Just like I don't think I can really back this in with any accuracy. Oop, 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 too much turn. There we go. Ooh, that went smoother than I thought. Lovely. Alright, so... Um... Pretty sure and if we're going to do this, we're going to need to use that guy. Indeed. Alright. You going to make it? Oh, should have known. is a much smaller spread than I thought. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Now oh, it's a little bit narrow, but... I could use GPS, but what the heck, I think we can do this by eye. At least from way up here. <laughs> And I'll bet you there's farmers all over the map that are waiting for me to come and do this for them. And I really, really hope someone uh, develops a placeable uh, palm tree mod soon. Because uh, I'd love to do a little bit of logging to make money, but I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to start cutting all the trees down and then replacing them with fir trees because frankly I think it would look really stupid on this map, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. I don't imagine there's too many fir trees growing in this part of the world that's too damn warm. Fir trees are like Canadians. Every once in a while it's got to be really cold just so you can remember who you are. Alright, well this is going to be a good start to our summer. In fact, let's just uh, up the uh, 
dealy a little bit here, go back to 5x, there's no reason not to. My hired workers are done for the day. So, no extreme wages, no reason to run in one next. We're actually going to have enough to do this. Awesome. Now, I do have the manure mod, but... Uh, as I said, I don't really want to cheat anything in on this particular run. Just because we haven't done a no-extra-money run in I don't know how long. Um, probably since after the second or so map. So I thought we'd do it with this one. Seeing as it's a fresh giant's map. This is a little bit. I'm even going to have enough to finish it all. Awesome. Yeah, I'm speaking of cold Canadians, we got another storm raging out there today. <laughs> I'm hoping at no point until I finish this will have any sort of power flickers or anything nasty like that. It's usually pretty good, though, I gotta admit. The part of town that I live in is uh, a little more immune to that sort of thing for one reason or another. We have had issues with it here off and on, but it's been more a matter of uh, the construction across the way, I think, than it has been the actual weather conditions or lack of service. So. Alright, one more strip and we are done. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh, kind of like this. All the little white flowers. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, and... Last one. Oh no, that did turn on. Okay, the numbers are going down. You don't really notice any uh, drag on the machine like you do with most implements. So I'm actually tapping the W just to keep the speed down a little bit. I don't think we really want to be doing this at like 30k. So, how are we doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm not getting that edge. Damn, damn. I know why I'm having such a hard time judging the widths here today, but I certainly am. Because now that's not actually done. I missed a fair strip down the side. <laughs> Alright. That should just about do it. Yeah, this is where I started to get off track a little bit. So there we go. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. So, those have all got trip. Those two have got the triples. This guy, we're going to have to give him one more at some point, And then that'll all be good. Awesome. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go collect my other tractor. And, uh... Jeez. Seem to be losing the, uh sensitivity on that one key even the slightest lift off of it and it's not operating oh well I've only recently gone back to this Logitech keyboard I didn't use it for the longest time because I was having issues well it seemed like I was having issues with uh, some of the keys not responding and <coughs> things like that but uh, I've recently started using it again I much prefer it. It's a nice keyboard. But I think I have actually uh, 
worn it out a little bit. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright guys, so I'm going to go and collect that other tractor, as I said, put it away, and uh, probably go hire myself out to uh, the neighbors, get some of their fields done, get our bank account fattened up for the next stage, because uh, I'm hoping that by the time it comes to harvests, we'll actually have the money to lease equipment because you'll notice that's something that is sadly lacking. Now we do have a, I believe, a one row harvester for our sugar cane, but that's it. Um, we have nothing else in the way of harvesters. So we have no forage harvesting, we have no grain harvester, we have no corn harvester. Yeah. Oh wait, what the heck am I talking about? Sure we do, we got this little guy. Why did I think we didn't have one? All right, well, we need uh, a corn head for it, but uh, so we have a grain harvester, a basic grain harvester. So I would like to lease the bigger sugarcane harvester, maybe, probably. Beyond that, though, I said a corn header would be a nice thing. So the one drag is, is there is no uh, farm reset on this map. If you reset gear, it stays at the store. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Either have to buy a header trailer to get a corn header home, which is kind of ridiculous because they fold up and you shouldn't need one, or we gotta drive the harvester all the way back to the shop. I suppose we could see if we can find one of those attachments that allows you to lift a header with a front loader, but eh, I don't know, we'll see. Alrighty, that should do it guys. We now have a second meadow and uh, our sugar cane is coming along. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's time, since it is uh, beginning of summer, I think it's time for me to go and do some missions, get some money together, and uh, maybe next episode we'll actually get to buy a couple of cows. So, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, well, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, ring the notification bell if you want to know when the next video is up. Oh, this fella has planted a crop of bamboo by the looks of it. <laughs> All right, guys. Ciao for now.